Hi, now I am going to explain you how to use 4E1 to fiber converter. See, it is 4E1. You can give 4E1 input, output fiber. Fiber line, it has SFE slot. If it is SFE slot means you can use any fiber, uh, single mode, multi mode, whatever it is. Now I am going to use SFE module, single mode, it support up to 20 km and LC type connectors. So you can transfer the data up to 20 km. If you have uh, 4 e one data here, you can transfer up to 20 km here. So now I have 3 meter cable only. Just for testing purpose, I will show you how, how it, 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 it's going to work. First, forget about E1 side. First, we will connect the fiber line. Here, two fiber slot is there, but uh, we are, I'm going to use only one fiber line. In two fiber line, I'm going to use only one fiber line. So, F1. And one more module here. Up to 20 km you can transfer here to here. If it is remote, if this is the remote side and this is the control location. So you can transfer the data. Now I am connect, connecting. This is fiber cable, fiber cable LC type. So fiber line is connected. Let me power on the you can see here you can see here fiber line one. Fiber line one blinking. So if fiber line is glowing means then the connection is perfect. Let me off the fiber line. If suppose remote side there is no power or if any problem in the fiber line here no power. No power in fiber line. Now connection is perfect and it's power down. It's power down and the fiber line everything is perfect means the fiber line is glowing. So it is perfect line perfectly connected. Now the second part is input. Now we have to give input, E1 input to this device. I have only E1 to Ethernet uh, device. So I am going to use this device as an input device. See it, it, it is input is Ethernet output E1. So through this I will give E1 input, E1 data to here. From E1 to E1, I am going to connect, I, I, I prepared one cable, CAT6 cable. So here pin details is very careful, you, you have to more careful about the pin pin number. In this pin number 1, 2, 4, 5. E1 side, E1 side pin number 1, 2, 4, 5. 1, 2 transmitting data plus and minus. 4, 5 receiving data plus and minus. So you have to give cross connection. 1, 2, here 4, 5. 4, 5, here 1, 2. So I prepared the two cable. One cable for control room, another cable to remote locations. This is the E1 input. E1 input connected to E1 input. I am using 120 ohms, so E1 input given. And remote side also. E1, 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 E1 cable connector. You can see here LOS. We have to give input. If you give input, then it, it, it will off automatically. Let me give internet. I'm going to give internet here, and the internet it will transfer through E1 to the 4E1 converter. 4E1 again it will transfer the data, internet data through fiber. Again, 
here I am receiving E1 data to Ethernet. Ether, here I will connect one more computer. So if the data, uh, internet data, we are going to transfer through this device, through this, uh, to this uh, remote location. Here we will use one laptop or any system and then we will check whether the internet is connecting. If the internet is working here, then E1 is perfectly transferring data through this simple topology. Now connections, everything is perfect. See here, LOS is off. If LOS is off means it is transferring the data properly. See here also off. Both side it is transferring the data properly. Single E1 is also transferring data properly. And here, see here, 4 E1. 4 E1 side, I have given only one input. So, remaining three, the, no, no data coming, so it is the light is glowing. See, data coming through E1, single, uh, the first E1. So, the light is on. Here also, you can see, the perfect, it is perfectly transferring the data. Now, internet, internet coming through this network. So you see, it is transmitting the data. Now I am going to give another input. Second input. To give second input, I have another instrument. It is called Serial to RS232. Serial to E1 converter. So RS232 device, I am going to give to here. It will convert the RS232 to E1. E1, through this E1, I am going to connect it here. Same I have connected here one more device. Here pin, pin details is always very important. In this device, pin details are there. See, here pin number 2 and 3. Here pin number 2 and 3 is, here it is connected to pin number 1 and 2. And here pin number 6 and 7. 6 and 7 connected to here 4 and 5. So, like uh, TX2 RX, RX2 TX. Same, I connected one more device here. Already I am using E1, uh, uh, the first input for internet purpose. Internet is already working. And the second input, I am going to transfer the data. So it is transmitting the data at the same time. One more important thing is that, see here it is LOS blinking. LOS blinking means it is transferring the data. Transferring data. When, when, when you transfer the data, it will be half. See LOS is off. If LOS is off means it is transferring the data. But if it is not in condition, if it is not in condition to transfer the data, but the data is flowing means it will glow like this. So it will blink like this. Thank you.